Hello everyone, welcome to today's Noveg webinar, What's New in MathCAD Prime 8? BTC's MathCAD Prime 8 deliver custom-driven enhancement to the symbolic and numeric engines, worksheet properties, the user interface, and user experience. These advancements boost your productivity, allowing you to accurately solve, analyze document, and share your most vital engineering calculation faster. And today you're going to see how you can do that. Uh, today's webinar presenter, Paul Dye, is a member of the Virtual Center of Excellence with PTC. And he specializes in the area of Creo and is aided by his background in mechanical engineer, engineer design, and 3D modeling. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Novaj. Novaj is changing the way designers purchase 3D software, offering more choices, more freedom, best advice, and faster service. Check us out at novage.com and this is the product page uh, where you can find uh, the new PTC Maca Prime 8. And now without further ado, I'm going to share um, Paul's screen so he can tell you all about MathCAD 8. All right, sounds good. And you can hear me okay? We can hear you perfectly and we can see your screen. Awesome. Well, awesome. Happy to be on, of course. And thank you for hopping on and anyone that's watching after the fact. So my name is Paul Dye. I'm a solutions consultant and application engineer here with BTC. And Barbara has me on to talk a little bit around what we have here around MathCAD Prime 8.0. So the capabilities, some of the things that are new. And really what I want to cover today is starting off by just going over a bit of an overview of just some of the different challenges that we typically see out in the industry today around design documentation, what we do around that. And then we're showing you how we're combating those specifically with MathCAD Prime. I'll go through just a general overview of the software, some of the main different capabilities that you have with it. We'll move into talking about some of the things that are new. We see a couple brief demonstrations of what it actually looks like in the context of MathCAD Prime 8.0, just so you can see a bit of the interface and get a little bit better or more visual understanding of some of the different challenges that I've gone over. And then we'll talk a little bit about how we move forward with the tool. All right. So really looking at some of the main challenges that we look to address with MathCAD, a lot of times it can be very difficult to capture, share, or even reuse design intent. A lot of our engineering calculations are often created using data from multiple different systems, different arcane languages. A lot of times it leads to a loss of knowledge. We also see a loss of traceability between some of the initial requirements that you have and the ultimate final design. You could have some errors that need to be fixed along the way. And any lack of documentation that you have throughout that's gonna to lead to tons of different inefficiencies in that process. There's also a big issue with trying to standardize the processes or the tools that we work with on a daily basis. Problems can be introduced due to design intent being stored in multiple different locations. And many times design calculations have to be started over from scratch for different design iterations that you go through or if you're working with a new product development. And that's because our engineering calculations are in general pretty unmanaged or uncontrolled a lot of the times. And if your processes aren't standardized from the start, then there's likely going to be a lack of early design validation. You have rework a lot of the times. And you have to ask yourself, is your design optimized? Is it the best trade-off between cost, strength, time to market, customer requirements? And if you have any errors that aren't caught within that process or just missed entirely, that can cause a lot of different issues. So these are all different things that we'd like to avoid. And we want to fix that by, in our case, going through and building these things out in solutions, more specifically with MathCAD Prime. And the process is really made up of analyzing, solving, documenting throughout that, and then at the end of the day, sharing those off. So really at its base, MathCAD is a digital engineering notebook for performing calculations and managing design intent. And this picture here really shows it over on, on the left and the right. So what you can see is it's very visual, right? To document with calculations, notes, charts, graphs, it's all visual, easy to understand. What it's not is like you see on the right-hand side, it's not a bunch of code, computer programming that you have to try to sort through, try to understand. It's not to say that at its core, MathCAD doesn't have a very powerful engine, right? It really does. But as the front end user, we don't have to see it, right? We just work in a very neat, robust interface 
and let the documentation do all that work behind the scenes for us. When we're working with MathCAD, we have what's called the whiteboard interface. It's where we snap all of our work onto if we'd like to. And the default is this nice grid style paper that we're used to using in engineering notebooks. It also does all the calculations for us, whatever equations we lay out, provided that we give the necessary values, it's gonna go through and automatically give us the answer. So no need to code out a single thing. And this document really has everything built into it from live math, text, graphics, and even call up other programs. And, and it's not all for calculations. Remember that we're doing all this to display the design process in an easy to understand manner. A very useful feature of MathCAD is the ability to manage units. So for example, if you had nine inches plus two feet times eight furlongs, whatever it is, it understands each of those and it outputs it to whatever units that we need. And one of the big things to note around this is that everything is really self-documenting. So you do all those calculations. It's very much WYSIWYG. So what you see is what you get. It's not different formats for printing and whatnot. It's really just a page, right? There's a huge function library, math notation solvers, data analysis, statistics, Fourier transforms, all the things that maybe we've studied, have some knowledge on. Well, luckily, MathCAD can do much of those things for us. Around that as well, there's a lot of different plot options, simple XY plots, polar coordinates, contour plots, it's really all right there for us. And these are all live plots. It's using whatever data's on the page, you can go through, change things around, and all of those plots will update right along with that. All right, so that's really covering some of the main capabilities of what we work with in MathCAD. What I wanna do now is talk to some of the main enhancements that we see over here with the release of Prime 8.0. It's been a lot of different enhancements and applications that have been added in over the past few releases. This is really going to be touching on specifically what we see with uh, that's going to be new with Prime 8.0. I'm starting here first with the application enhancements. Uh, first, we have the ability for the application to warn the user and something that has been redefined in the worksheet. So you can see that there in the visual, it will get this green box around whatever value or identifier that you're working with. It shows exactly what value has been edited, uh, it could be variables, constants, units, functions, just further making sure that the calculations are truly working with the values that you intended them to. Uh, next, you can turn on a black frame around the header, the footer, and a page area of the worksheet. So these can be applied individually to each area that you're working with. They can adjust to match the margin settings that you have set up. And they really help to segment off the different areas of that worksheet and make them look a little bit better. We added in a partial derivative operator to the operators menu, allows you to set up your different equations using derivatives to the nth order, whatever you want to set them to. And back in Prime 7, we added in combo box inputs, where you can have multiple predefined inputs to use in your calculations. And now here with MathCAD Prime 8.0, we've added in the ability to copy and paste multiple different values into those combo boxes could be a combination of, of different values from a matrix if you'd like to, or just simply add it in variable by variable, and the combo box will adjust for those new values that were added in. Basically does that automatically for you. And with that, I can go through and show a quick demonstration of this so we can see what that actually looks like in the context of MathCAD. All right. Go ahead and get started here. So this is gonna be focusing on some of the application updates that we have here with MathCAD Prime. So first thing I'll show is the feature redefinition. And so when we go through and really just make a couple different changes to the input values that we have in our calculations. So this is right here using some of those drop down combo boxes. For example, here we have the altitude, the density of the air based on that altitude. And now if we scroll down to our power calculations, we can see that when we hit our redefinition warning, it highlights the variable or the function that's been updated. You see that green box that goes around it. And we can also decide exactly which things should trigger this warning. So we have some built-in ones and also some user-defined warnings that we can set up. And really a lot of the time that we see those changes, they tend to be intentional, but if they were not intentional, it's very important that we see that and it's really ensuring the integrity of the calculations in our worksheet. 
like I mentioned earlier as well, we added in the partial the partial derivative operator in our operators menu. You can now use this to represent partial derivatives in our calculations, like you see there. We also added in our borders to so the different areas of the worksheet. For example, here we can do it around any of our calculations if we want to add it in there. And do the same thing up on the header if we'd like to. And finally, here for the combo box input control, we can also now copy and paste values into those boxes. Like we see here, if we wanted to switch over to a matrix of multiple different values that we have, go ahead and select on that. And we can take those values and bring them right over into our combo box. That makes it very easy to redefine those and just simply keep working from there. All right, so just a quick look at some of those different changes that we had, really helping to make our applications a lot easier to work with. So moving on here now to some of the symbolic and numeric enhancements that we've had. So this is the third release of MathCAD Prime since we added in the new Symbolics engine. And we've been doing a lot of work to keep updating this, adding in a lot of control, a lot of new functionality around Symbolics and numerics for that matter. Uh, first of all, it includes significant improvements to the integral and Fourier functions. I'll go through and show a little bit about what that looks like. Uh, new modifiers for both Fourier and integral, better labeling of the different calculus functions that you're going to be working with. We updated the fundamental physical constants in accordance with NIST. That's the governing body for some of those different um, actual values that are associated with those constants. So we're making those up to date with whatever was published by the committee. And as well, we're improving the error reporting functionality as well. So these are things that we'll see in a few different con uh, demonstrations in the context of MathCAD. And also general usability. This is a large area of focus in MathCAD. And we continue to make improvements here based on any feedback that we get from our customers. It includes making uh, or moving and saving all the different tabs that we have in the areas of our worksheet it makes that much easier to move those around and get context sensitive information from each of those tabs and from there we can also now take any of the worksheets and save those out as an html to send to others whoever really needs that all right and with that i want to go through and show a few different demonstrations so you can see what some of these different things look like in the context of mathcad from symbolics to numeric and also some of those usability updates that we had All right, first thing that we're going to start with here is our symbolics updates that we've been working with, that symbolics engine. This is another area really that we're going to be seeing enhancements around every release of MathCAD Prime going forward. We're going to keep building that out. Um, we first expanded many of the different uses of Fourier transforms, as well as symbolic integral transforms, and expanded upon Laplace, Z-trans. And with any of those, we also expanded around the inverses. So this is a lot of different functionality we've added into each of these. We've added in two new modifiers. And this includes NFACT and OFACT. And those allow you to set user-defined Fourier normalization and oscillatory factors for your specific areas of mathematic or engineering, whatever you tend to work with. You can go through and have those be user-defined. Uh, general keyword improvements have been made to commonly use symbolic keywords like solve, rewrite, series, assume we improved the performance and added in more supported use cases for the different calculus operators that you tend to work with like limits derivatives integrals you can see a little bit about what that looks like so really making those a lot easier to work with and giving a lot more use cases around those and finally here what we can do is take a look at some of the improvement of undefined variables and how we handle the auto labeling so here we can see a little bit of the difference between the old and the new behavior for some of these different functions. So in the old, you might end up with an equation that has an unsolved piece of the equation where you have two X minus X. But in this case here, it'll go through and simplify that a little bit right here down to just X. So making some of that old behavior that maybe gives you some undesirable, undesirable results a bit easier, a bit cleaner, and not going to leave anything up to translation errors. 
All right. So next we'll move into a quick demonstration of some of the numeric enhancements that we've had. Let's go through and show a little bit about what that looks like here. Now the first thing that we improved here is the behavior of the state space and the ODE solve functions. And with that, you can see we can now get more actionable feedback from any of our incorrectly defined functions, helping us to go through and correct those a lot easier. Like I mentioned earlier, we also updated the physical constant values in accordance with NIST, a government, a governing regulation body for those different values. That includes Planck's constant, Avogadro's number, as well as the Stefan Boltzmann constant as well. And really, with any of these in, in general, the numeric engine in MathCAD Primate is something that we've been refining. We'll continue to have improvements based upon any of that customer developer feedback. And we'll see that with each new release of Prime. So if there's any areas that you'd like to see or anything that you'd like to have added in here as well, make sure to give that feedback. We always like to add different things in based upon that feedback. All right, finally, we'll go ahead and look at some of the different usability enhancements that we have here with Prime 8.0. All right, so this is really alongside any of the different application or engine or function improvements. You really want to make sure that general usability is something that is addressed with every single release of MathCAD Prime. Uh, first thing that we see here is the ability to scroll or zoom into the worksheet. You don't have to use the slider down in the bottom right. You can just use that with control and scroll wheel. Uh, next up at the top, we see we've added in a few different things, such as save state indicators up in the bottom, in the top right for each of those tabs. We also added in closed control with each of the tabs as well. And with any of these, you can go through and reorder the tabs as you see fit. You move around uh, left or right, drop them off wherever you'd like them to exist. Like you see there, we could also um, add in a couple new functionalities where we're able to see the save path for any of the different tabs that we're working with. We can open up the containing folder for that. And on any of those tabs that we have for those have those context instead of menus, uh, have easy access to many of the most useful worksheet actions that you might need to use. So it could be calculate, close, print, save. And finally, like you see there, being able to clear out text formatting in the text boxes using the new remove format text control. And here you can see some of those more content sensitive menus around any of them. All right, so that's just a quick look at some of the main functionality that we have and really have been adding in around MathCAD Prime 8, a few different functional areas that we wanted to make sure that we have improvements around. And wrapping up really with some of the value that we're working with out on MathCAD, we're really fully optimizing our designs. We can reference every part of the design process, ensure that every single step that we took was done in the best way. And if we have errors along the way, we're very easily, uh, easily able to see them and make updates for whatever we need to use in MathCAD. Overall, improving the quality of our designs, don't have those errors slipping through the cracks, really understand each variable that's being re uh, used throughout the process, reducing time to market, eliminating unnecessary errors, maximizing our engineering productivity. So a lot of different areas that we're improving upon and really with every single release of MathCAD Prime, we're going to continue to see this get better and better as well. So with that, that's all I wanted to go through and show. We can take a moment for any questions that we might have. So I can pass it over to you, Barbara. Thank you so much, Paul. What an incredible tool. Thank you so much for giving such a, a great overview. Um, while we wait for question, if there's any, I'll take the screen back and show everybody where they can get uh, MathCAD Prime 8. And uh, very excited about, you know, the feedback that you guys are really good at um, requesting and uh, implementing. So that's great. Um, but anyway, if you want Math MathCAD Prime 8, find it at Novage.com. And you can call us anytime, you know, we'll have the best assistance for you. Um, there are no questions, so um, I'm going to thank you uh, for today's presentation, Paul. Always a pleasure, and have a great rest of the day, uh, you and everybody else uh, who joined us today. Bye-bye.